uh, I will go directly to the chart and we are going we will go to see live examples how we can do and what should we do when how and why okay um, after each topic after each explanation I will stop give you time for questions so please try to avoid chatting during the uh, during the explanation Dave that's specifically for you I know <laughs> I know you like to chat uh, once I'm talking so this one is specifically <laughs> for you <laughs> Uh, okay, so let's start. Uh, the Bollinger Band Secrets. We have two main, there are several things, but we have main two uh, secrets we actually use. Uh, and I will, since today, you will uh, hear me a lot, talking about it a lot on the weekly reviews and on the live trading room. Sometimes I mentioned that already. I promised you I'm going to make a webinar about it, and here we go. Here it is. Uh, the, the day of the webinar is, <laughs> is here. Um, so first of all, what is the Bollinger Band? Why I like it so much? Bollinger Band is a moving average. Believe it or not, but Bollinger Band is a moving average. 20 simple. That's all. That's all what it is. Why it's so important? Because the prices like uh, like to uh, to be to move around an average price. So when the prices are far from the average, they are going to try to reach it again, right? They are going to try to reach it again. What do I mean? For example, um, you can see just right here, right? That's the maximum the prices went out of the uh, of the moving average in in this up uh, situation. And uh, then the next down move, if it will happen, most likely the prices are going to try to retrace back to the moving average after the same. Move. Pretty much, very simple principle of the uh, distance from the moving average. The moving average is the value zone, the real value zone for the price. That's what it is. Why Bollinger Band is so amazing? Because Bollinger Bands take this moving average, 20, pretty much uh, one of the most reliable, one of the best uh, moving average to use, and it has two deviations plus two and minus two it takes this average price and make a bend around it make a borders limits boundaries around it right to cover all possible move the prices in around 70 percent of the time maybe even more are moving in between the moving the bends. On other thirty uh, percent of the times, they are just riding the bend, exploring and riding out of the bend. So we have two tools, two very 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 useful tools to understand when most likely the prices are going uh, to begin its retrace. Remember, all the tools we will use today are tools. It's not a strategy. It's not a technique. It's not a method. It's tools. We should take them, use them for visual help to understand if we enter correct or not very important now another thing and uh, I will ask uh, here live and for people that could not attend uh, they will hear it with recording the things you will hear today for most of you I guess will be new new things uh, you will never hear about them anywhere and I will from the bottom of my heart, ask you, keep it for you. Okay. Don't do with 
this knowledge, I don't know, any bad things that could harm our, uh, our club, right? Especially for you, uh, as because you are members and I want you to know what I'm doing, why I'm doing, uh, and what I'm doing even when I'm wrong. <laughs> Okay, what I'm doing even when I'm wrong. I want you to understand what, why, how, and that's all. Okay, so please take it, learn that, use it for yourself. Or, of course, for the friends in the Skype room, you can share uh, and learn together. But not, not more than that. Thank you very much for understanding. Okay, so... We have two secrets here. Duplications area and riding. We will start with duplication, right? We will start with duplication and then we will go for uh, the riding on the Bollinger Bands. We will learn these tools and how to use them. Remember, I will tell that now, I will repeat that several times during this presentation. We will use these tools and any other tools I will ever teach you only and only and only if we have divergences. First of all, my uh, attitude, my approach to the market is first of all recognize the divergence. First of all understand the prices are lying. Then get ready for a trade. All the tools I use here and several tools I will teach you on the next webinars that's what I am doing for the investor's style. That's how I trade my personal money for several years now. For several years now. These tools are working. Please do not believe me because I'm Vlad and because I'm Russian and I have uh, nice eyes. Please be don't believe me. Just go to the charts and see that all I'm telling you here is 100% truth. Okay? Alright. So the first thing is Bollinger Bands duplication. The Bollinger Bands helps us to look for the possible levels to enter and helps us to recognize the levels the market is expected to retrace from. Very important. We will use the Bollinger Bands as targets sometimes and in other cases it will help us to exit the trade we do not want to be in. So to make the duplication, that's the things we will need. Use the default Bollinger Bands parameters. I no need to change, no need to play with it. Right? No need to switch from 20 to 30 or to 25. No need. Whatever works for John Bollinger, the one that in, uh, created the Bollinger Bands, will work for us. Defaults are good. Remember that, friend. I saw many traders try to change things. The MACD, the Bollinger, no need. Why? If it worked for the people that create them, why it should not work for us? Remember another important thing. Indicator is not an entry. Indicator is a visual helpful tool. That's all what it is. Remember that. No strategy can be built only on indicators. No strategy. It's pure price action with visual tools as confirmations. That's what trading is. There is never a reliable strategy based only on indicators. Never. Because it's not a strategy. Indicators are helpful tools. That's, that's what it is. Bollinger Band is one of them. So we will use the band, the default parameters. We will look for the place where the price did not touch the 20 moving average and broke the Bollinger Band boundaries up or down. I will show you how the break looks like. We will duplicate the depths of the boundaries to the break, from the break, sorry, to the break direction to look for possible retrace area. I will show you all in a minute. And we will look for continuing or regular, I don't care, divergence on the same time frame or one time frame lower. Let's try to combine all these things together. 
we had a, this is for our charts pound dollar just for example we had here a situation right and we had a break up uh, out of the Bollinger Band this is that after the break it right it up right and duplicated this area one time higher correct it reached also a stiff resistance area after I recognize this situation I am looking for divergence on the same time frame or on one time frame lower that's it that's all that's how it looks like it was pound dollar for our charts now on one hour chart here is our confirmation remember we will be looking for continuing or regular or regular continuing divergence I don't care each of them work works <laughs> okay we reach this area we have continuing divergence this is our time to attack this is our time to attack remember it is not a strategy it is not a method it is a tool a visual tool that helps us to understand this area is critical once again four hour charts duplication up one hour chart divergence you recognize the duplication on any time frame you will look for a divergence being created on the duplication area on the same time frame or one time frame lower remember that it is very very important now before we continue remember another important thing the Bollinger Bands could duplicate itself once or twice more than that it becomes not uh, not relevant anymore it could duplicate itself once or twice so we will look for the bigger trace if it just continues more it's not relevant anymore once or twice let's see more examples before you have questions this is pound dollar one hour chart I have double duplication down breakdown from here no retrace with the break right there are several breaks like here break and retrace this is not good for me here I had a break how do I recognize a break when the Bollinger Bands are open let me just show you what I mean like here okay break out of the Bollinger Band and watch what is happening with the Bollinger Bands you see that friends upper boundary is aiming up lower boundary is aiming down they are opened that's what it means to uh, open Bollinger Bands, break out of the Bollinger Bands. Back to the presentation, we have here break out and going lower. You see that? Up, uh, Bollinger Bands are opened, no immediate retrace. We are writing down duplicated number one, duplication number two. We reached a support area, it was a support on four hour chart, and we have a continuing divergence here which is amazing area to make our attack any questions friends any questions if you have any please ask now before we continue Dave, do you want to say anything about uh, this tool? How did you recognize your... Uh... <laughs> you can talk now again. <laughs> How did you recognize your uh, pound dollar sell on the Skype? Yesterday you said too early. You are going to look for 157 or something, right? How did you recognize that? duplication area right Ooh. let me share with you something friends Dave yesterday on the Skype 
Said it's too early. I will be looking for duplication before to make the sale. If you don't believe me, go to back to the Skype to see what, what did he say. Here it is. Reached one hour chart. Reached divergence regular style, continuing regular, doesn't matter what it is. And bam. What I can say, Dave, is well done. You are a good, good student. You are a good student. Um, yes, okay, Mayur asked a good question. What do I mean by duplication? When I have Bollinger Bands opened, okay, let me go to live chart. I, I hate presentations. Let me go to live chart. Let's take a look on Euro Pound. Live story, daily chart, right? That's what we have. It broke out of the Bollinger Band, right? Upper boundary band went up, lower boundary band goes down. They are opened, widening, widening, how you to say correct English? Widening, right? Right, widening. So, what do I do is, I'm taking the break area and manually put a line. Okay? From the break area, the Bollinger Band on the break area to the Bollinger Band on the same candle on the opposite area. See that? Once again, don't look on the exact pip, friends. It's not so important. You can miss 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, 15 pips if you are working on long charts. Now, it's not so important. The most important is to recognize the area. That's what it is. There is no several price, exact price. You always, you also can see me on my some of my signals, some of my signals. I give you some price to attack here and then and then again. When I have an area, right? I have duplication area and I look for another confirmation. I will tell you what, and I attack the same trade, one trade, just split it on several areas. That's what I do. I am finding an area. So you are doing here an area. Right, duplication. Ah, believe it or not, that's what we have. Euro pound is about to duplicate itself. Ooh, what does it mean? It means get ready for a buy. We have a buy already. We have buy already. Right? Why? Because we had a support line little earlier, little earlier. Right? Then the duplication area. We have one little lower in the duplication area if we take it a little lower, right? We have the next entry, wait is 275. So that's what it is. I take the break on a moment, right? I take the, sorry, the depths on the moment it broke out of the Bollinger Band. And on the same candle of the break, I take from one boundary to other boundary the distance and take it duplicate it. You know how to duplicate it, right? Double click on it, press control, press control, and grab the line to that area. You know this tool, right? I uh, shared with you this tool. Right? Once again, double click on the line you want to duplicate, control, hold it, and with the mouse, grab it to whatever place you want. Okay, that's what it is. Okay, all right. Next question, uh, Lois said, "What? How do we draw the duplication?" Oh, okay. Uh, answer your question, Luisa. Okay. Any more questions, friends? Please, this is the time. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see. Um, Adrian says, "Does." on this chart around the 2nd June 2000. You mean here on the Euro Pound, Adrian? Yeah, okay, let's see. Let's see. Where we have June, 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 June. Oh, I have a gap here because of the history. You see? I have 
a gap of three months is here. I downloaded the history to uh, to make some tests and I missed it. Uh, what what happened here in this area? What happened here? Sometimes, you see, sometimes when you expect for duplication, the price has never reached the duplication, right? See? Break and bam, retrace immediately. Sometimes they just mm, don't follow the duplications. But when they happen, get ready. That's what it means. Get ready. Be ready. It's going to happen, most likely. And we are looking for divergions, first of all divergions, on the same chart or one time frame lower. Okay. Uh, Chitra asks, so we attack on lower time frame with divergences uh, on, the, on the same time frame as you had the duplication or one time frame lower? Same time frame where you had the duplication or one time frame lower? That's the divergences, the only divergences you are going to accept. Okay? Adrian asks, how actually you recognize the opening of for duplication? You you see the break of the Bollinger Bands. Let me find an example uh, of uh, here. You know what? Here. You're a dollar. Right? You see it broke down. Right? Take it and duplicate it. Here. Right? If the euro dollar reaches this area, approximately, not exactly, approximately, it will be a duplication. If I will have a divergence here on the same time frame or the four hour chart time frame, I'm going to attack this area. This area is very important area. I will. <laughs> I will they believe it or not. I will put all my money here, all in. I'm I'm looking for these areas. I'm looking for these areas. I'm praying them to take us there. I'm going to be all in there. So extreme, so amazing, so beautiful for attack. Duplication more often happens after the narrow Bollinger Bands. Well, that's true. That's true. That's true, but sometimes it happens uh, even uh, oh that's that's a good example i wanted to show you sometimes it happens like here igor you see that like in here this is a good example i wanted to show you friends see sometimes the bollinger bands not breaking and closing above but just start to ride on the boundary you see that they're starting to just ride on the boundary it spiked or just was close around it and started to write above. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's a break. You see what happened here? Lower boundary is going down. Upper boundary is going up. That's a duplication. You take this area, you duplicate it up, and that's what you get. This is your area to attack. That's your area to attack, and here you have a divergence on the same time frame. No need to go lower. Amazing. Can you ask for more? No. Once again, friends, please do not believe me. After this session, take your chart, go to test it, and see how it happens. Time after time. Time after time. Time after time. It took me a long, long time to understand it. Seriously. Long time to understand. A lot of money took me to understand how it works and why it works like that. It's a visual tool. Remember, it's not a strategy. I cannot tell you 100%. Duplicate it, sell, buy. That's not true. But when your duplication area is combined with divergence area on the same time frame or one time frame lower, that's almost 100% guaranteed successful trade almost because you know that there is no 100% success you know that right that's how 
it worked. That's how amazing it really is. Now, for another thing uh, based on the duplications, uh, confirm it with other things you have. You find a duplication area, confirm it. Support, resistances, just a second please friends. Sorry. Uh, confirm it by support, resistances, trend lines, whatever it is, whatever it is, on the same time frame or one time frame higher. Remember, remember very important rule, friends, please. Write it down with big letters if you want. Divergences we look to attack on the same time frame or lower time frame. Confirmations like supports, resistances, trend line, FIBO levels, whatever it is, we are looking on the same time frame or higher. Higher is better. So if I'm working on four hour chart, my confirmation will be on daily, four hours or daily, but my divergence will be on four hours or one hour. Remember that it's very, very, very important. Okay? Peter asked, could you use the this on 15 minute chart to do more? Yes, you can, easily. Take whatever chart you want. What charts you want me to do, uh, Peter? 15 minutes, uh, euro, dollar, pound, dollar, choose a chart. I'll do it live. Euro, dollar. Br break down duplication area. Automatically look for duplication, right? Here you go. Here is your duplication area. You have a support area here, right? You have a support area a little lower, correct? That's your area you are going to attack. You will be looking for divergence on the same time frame or one time frame lower. Go for a five minute chart, bam, believe it or not, divergence, attack, scalp, take your five, ten, fifteen pips, doesn't matter, whatever the chart gives you, right? Enjoy, thanks the market, thank you very much. Put some, some nice testimonial on the Skype, just kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. And that's how it works on any time frame. On any time frame, doesn't matter. Same idea. Exactly the same idea. That's how it works, friend. That's how it works. Once again, please do not believe me. Take these tools, test it. Test it. The more you test, the more you will be amazed. Promise. I promise you. Any more questions, friends, regarding this one? I just want to make summary. You look for a breakout of the... Bo yes, I can, Mayur, just in a second. Just a summary, friends. You, br you look for a breakout of the Bollinger Bands. You look for duplication, up or down, doesn't matter. When you reach the duplication area, approximately, don't look for the exact pips. Okay? Look for divergence on the same time frame or one time frame lower. Look for confirmation for this area on the same time frame or one time frame higher. Once you have it, attack. Attack. Take your trade. Take your pips. This is important area. Okay? Alright. Uh, first, I just will uh, uh, follow examples uh, for Mayur, okay, Andre? And then I will go for oil, okay? 15 minutes, oh, Mayur, just choose chart, whatever chart you want. Give me one, two pairs, I'm going to make uh, live. I hate examples from past. Let's try to find live. Give me some charts, I'm going to do it. Examples for pass are just for representations, you understand it. 
Euro, Pound, Euro, Yen. Let's see. 15 minutes, right? Okay, let's see what we have. First of all, now uh, we don't have it, right? But where was the first break? The first break was here. Today, right? First break today happened just right here. Here it is, right? Once and you duplicate it. What you have here around? Support area 1, support area 2, support area 3. Right? High here, low here, low here. That's what you have. Approximately, approximately on the break area. Correct? You are looking for divergences around this area on the same time frame or time frame lower. Go for 5 minute chart. Do you have any divergence here? Yes, you do. Double bottom and bullish. <coughs> Sorry, sorry, sorry. I uh, just need to water something. Just a second. Ooh, I was shocked on this double bottom. Mayur, you see what you did, did to me? <laughs> Almost shocked. <clears throat> double bottom, divergence, 5 minutes combined with 15 minutes. Here is your attack. Short term. That's short term. Okay? Let's move forward for the next areas I follow today. Then it make the retrace, right? And then another breakdown. This breakdown was false, correct? This breakdown was false and immediate retrace. You don't look for this. Then you have another break, right? And let's see what you have. Here is your area, right? You take it and you duplicate it. And you are going to look for First of all, confirmation, right? Confirmation on the same time frame or one time frame higher. Let's see if you have on the same time frame nothing. Let's see if you have on one hour chart nothing. Four hours nothing. Daily support. If you want to zoom out, you will see it on one hour chart also. Here is your support areas, right? All support areas. You go back for your 15 minute chart. Here what you got and you look for divergence on same time frame or lower time frame. Do you have a divergence on same time frame? Yes, you do. Classical? No. Divergence? Yes. Can you use it? Of course. Do you have confirmation? Yes. That's why. Short term attack. Take quick pips that 15 chart allowed. Take the money. Thanks the market. Thank you very much. Right quickly on Skype. Hi friends. Look how this uh, Bollinger Bands works. So everyone can use it and that's all. That's how it works. Is that okay Mayur? Is that okay friends? How to manage the trade? The, you manage the trade based on the divergences rules. You based you manage the trade based on the divergences rules. As I taught you on the uh, other webinars about divergences. There is a regular style managing, there is investor style managing. Whatever the charts gives you, that's how you manage. Okay? It, the Bollinger Bands are tools, not strategy. Remember that, please. You mean this one, Mayur? Because it's immediate retraced. Immediate. If that would start a move and then retrace, that's okay. But this this was a fall break, you see? Just broke and bam, retraced immediately. You can't use it. You can't use it. You are looking for a break and a ride. Right? Because you want to see how powerful this break could be. Remember just one tool I just told, told you before? Duplication could be made once or twice. More than that becomes not relevant. If you don't have divergences during this time, it's not relevant. Once or twice, that's all. Okay. Um, any more questions, friends? Before we move forward, for our next um, one of the most amazing tools I know. Ah, Igor, it's not a problem. Igor says a very good, interesting point. Vlad, 
number of pairs, number of time frames, huge numbers. Who can handle that? Soon, you will not need, Igor. We are working on a letter, an indicator that will help us manage these kind of things. You will put it on your chart. It will pop up for you. Bam, bam. Euro dollar, one hour chart, duplication. Bam, bam. OZ dollar, four hour chart, duplication. Bam, bam. Etc. 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 That's how it's going to work. It will take time. It will not be ready during this uh, one two weeks. We have a lot of things for 2012. Believe me, believe me. But soon you will get tools, friends, that will make it all very 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 simple. Believe me. <laughs> Can I share this one, Dave? <laughs> ah, you are funny. <laughs> Dave just said, "Lad, can you can you put a different sound?" Bam, bam. It's it's not for me. <laughs> you know what, Dave? <laughs> I will put several alerts there. <laughs> oh, 2012 is going to be great, friends. I don't want to talk too much. You know me. I. I'm a person of work. I'm not a person of words. Uh, seriously, we are working on huge numbers of pro projects for you. Believe me. You're going to have some really amazing things during 2012. Believe me. I will never, I hope I never uh, let you down during this time, and I promise not to let you down during 2012. Some things just will surprise you. We are working with also Laszlo, also his man Tibor, Ira, Daniel, everyone. Everyone. Steve, also. They all here making these things. Can I share also this one? Oh, I can. Dave just said, friends, I have looked and tested and verified this and it is amazing. You are talking about the duplication, right, Dave? <laughs> okay, yeah. I know. I wouldn't share with you things that, first of all, I don't use, and that doesn't really work. Uh, I just promised the oil. Oh, how lucky we are! We just took, we just got out of this trade, right? Aren't we? Aren't we? Ooh. Uh, Four hours duplication, four hours, yes, four hours duplication, here we go. That's the break. You take the break area. Sorry, not here, here. You take it, you duplicate it, right? That's your area, 90, around 99.60. Now, look for confirmations. You have resistance around this area. You have resistance a little higher. You have trend line in this area. 9980 to 100.50 is critical area and we could have a divergence here right we could have a divergence here during this creation if it happens get ready for another sell will i signal you about it of course i will that's what we have friends Live. Who asked for uh, the oil? I just forgot. Uh, what's for oil? Andre. Andre. Sorry. Andre. Thank you. Thank you. See how amazing is that? It's amazing. Once again, friends, it's not exactly on the pip. Just an area. Okay. Just an area. That's how it works. Look for confirmations. Get ready for attack. Make the money. It works. Okay. The next thing we have, friends, is the Bollinger Bands riding. Dave likes the duplications a lot. I love, I am in love with the riding. I love the duplications a lot. I use them a lot. But the riding is special, uh, special celebration for me. Oh, 
<laughs> you like the the writing as well, Chris? Well, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Now, just uh, to ad uh, admit some mistake, uh, OZ Dollar did um, did the writing today. I got out out of the trade first of all because of the volumeless market and the reports I got, I got about the calls about the Aussie dollar. Second, I had to go out of the house. I couldn't manage this trade. That's why I asked you close 101.60. That's why I asked you to close in total with small profit. I will going to explain you now what should you do in regular cases and how you should manage it. I admit that's what that was my uh, well. Uh, I had to leave. I couldn't manage that. That I ask you close earlier. When you have volumeless market or bill, uh, before news, remember that's a rule. Do not, do not aim for the last pip of your target, friends. Remember that if you cannot manage your trade, especially I'm talking about the intraday. I don't care about the uh, the long term. You can do whatever you want with them. Nothing will happen during this few hours you are out if you trade the daily chart. But if when you deal with one hour, 15 minutes, like I do sometimes in such markets, do not look for the last pip to take. Do not be greedy. When you have your money, take. It's volumeless market. You saw what happened on morning today. Bam up, then bam down, then bam up again that's clear taking stop losses market clear take stop losses market that's why I put my stop loss far just not to be involved in this stop losses taking when you have your money take it remember that very important friends do not look to be greedy right take whatever market allows you all right Back to riding. We we'll look for a break out of the Bollinger Band and ride on one of the boundaries for more than 20 candles. The price should not, they cannot, they are not allowed, they are forbidden to touch the 20 MA back during the ride of the Boundary Band. It's that simple. Let's look on the charts. Bam! Break out of the Bollinger Band and the ride. I want to see. Remember, at least, at least 20 candles. At least 20 candles before I am looking to buy. The prices cannot touch the 20 moving average again. Do you, any of you have any idea why I'm looking 20 candles? Why don't I, I'm not looking for 15 or uh, 60? You know the answer, Chris, so it's not... Uh, <laughs> I will not uh, share. <laughs> why do I use, friends, 20? Exactly. Well done, Igor. Well done, Mayur. <laughs> you crazy, Dave. Dave says it's the same number of cigarettes in the packet. No. How can I deal with Dave, friends? Should we kick him out of the of the webinar? <laughs> I told you, Dave, you are forbidden <laughs> to talk. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. We, oh yes, we need we need a uh, comedian. I agree with you, comedian. <laughs> All right, yes, that's exactly because of the moving average. Now, where's the logic behind it, friends? Very simple. Prices always will try, always will try to go back for their value zone. What is the value zone? It is the moving average. We are talking here about the twenty moving average which from my point of view is one of the most reliable right that's why we will the prices will always try to go back for the values on once they are riding out 
of the value zone, one the riding out of the value zone too long. Here we have a riding out of the value zone for 20 candles at least. Then after that the prices are going to try to make the attempt to retrace to the value zone. Now remember another thing very important for now you will understand soon why. The, the Bollinger Band is a 20 moving average with two deviations, plus two, minus two, plus two, minus two. That's the boundaries we have. That's exactly the boundaries we have. Once the prices are riding one of the boundaries, in this case it is riding the negative, right? Minus two. They will try to go back for its average. Where is the average? It's not 20. It's 20 plus two because it was riding the minus 2 deviation. It's going to make the attempt to go back to uh, the plus 2. Means it's going to make the attempt to go back for the boundary, the opposite boundary band. When I first um, understood <laughs> how it really works and why it works this way, well, honestly, it was too good to be true. I was kind of amazed and I couldn't believe it. Then I started to use it again and again and again and again, again. Friends, now it's more than four years I'm using that always. This is one of, the, of my favorite tools and one of the most reliable tools you can use with divergences. Remember, thank you very much Peter, thank you. Remember, all these tools are not relevant if you do not have divergence. Okay? It's all about divergence. You see the divergence, or the opposite, you see the writing, then you look for divergence. Or the opposite, you have divergence, then you look for uh, confirmations. This is a tool. Use it. Okay, now let's go forward. Um, and yes, you can, Chris. No need to do it. Whatever works for default for the uh, creator of that will work for us. I don't know, Igor, what's better, duplication or this one. They are so different. Sometimes they are combined together. Sometimes they are combined together. When they are combined together, that's 100%. That's a check. <laughs> Seriously. That's ATM machine. I'm, ser I'm damn serious. Together is just very rare, but when it happens, is ATM. Take the money. I'm serious. You will see that. Amazing. Unbelievable even sometimes. Now, also here, friends, confirm it by, confirm it by same time frame or longer time frame confirmation. Support, trend lines, Fibonacci numbers, whatever you want. Confirm this area and get ready to attack. You see the divergence here? You know it's time to attack. The first stop it's going to make will be the 20 MA, the natural. Then it's going to make the attempt to retest the boundary band. That's how it works. Believe it or not. Now let's move forward and then we're going to for live examples. See, Euro dollar daily, double, double, double move. More than 20 candles right, uh, divergence, bam, all the way to the boundary band. More than 20 candles right, divergence, bam, retesting of the trend line, of the opposite boundary band. Remember, it should not touch the 20 MA during the ride. Very important. Here is another example. And here is another tool I want to uh, teach you. RSI, you know the strategy RSI. Here with the riding is relevant more than ever. 
you know the other side, right? 80 or 20. With the uh, with the with the writing 20 candles, it's relevant more than ever. Many times you will see RSI kissing the 80 or 20 or crossing above or below together with the right. Logical, isn't it? Diversions with it will give you the move. This is a divergence. This is dollar Canadian 20 candles right, bam, right, divergence, bam, RSI above the 80. We are going down. Okay. Now, it's not the end. <laughs> Let's go for live examples. Let me start with the Aussie dollar, if that's okay, from today. First of all, for our charts. Broke up duplication area. That's why I asked you, start your attack here. Right? A little earlier. Then add more, and then 102. I started here on this area. 45 just right here then I, I asked you add more you have the duplication go, go for one hour chart and that's what we have riding more than 20 candles riding more than 20 candles it means get ready for your attack double confirmation friends resistances Duplication on 4-hour chart, riding on 1-hour chart. When it made an RSI, of course. See the RSI? Played above the 80. Once, once it's above the 80, get ready for the retrace. Once again, so I couldn't man manage the trade. It was intraday trade. It was crazy day, volumeless day. I got out with small profit. Normally, Take your money, 80%. If you can, if you can, close 80%. Close 80% on the first target, 20 MA. Second target, opposite boundary of the Bollinger Bands. Means here. Not exact on the pips around. Don't be greedy. Don't be greedy, ever. Once again, divergence. It's all... Thank you, Dave. Thank you. It's all about divergences, friends. First of all, divergence. Then all the other things. You have the divergence, you can attack. Okay? Regards your question, Peter? Yes, the RSI. Did you uh, have the chance to listen to the webinar about the intraday uh, strategies, Peter? If you didn't, please do. It's uh, intraday. The RSI is one of them. Okay? Okay? It's, uh, it's all there. Okay? It's older. You will see how it works. All right. That's regards this trade. Now, let's take a look on Euro Canadian. I think I'm not sure. Yeah, Euro Canadian friends broke down. We have 17 candles already. Ooh. We have support area, we have next support area. Just right here, right here on the spikes, right? And one lower. We have a duplication area. See that? If it duplicates one more time, that's what we have. That's why I told you, friends, that's already time to get ready to attack Euro Canadian. We tried. The first attempt we tried. We didn't get the full retrace. We didn't even retest the 20 MA yet. We got kicked out on the break even already. We will be looking to rejoin. We have an entry. We have a pending order there. All based to that chart. If we will have here 20 candles right, we have three, four more candles to go. Right? Then we will be looking for the full retrace. If you can take 80%, take it on the 20 MA. If you cannot look for full retrace.
ok? What, what, what do you mean, Chris? I'm not sure I understand. Not sure I understand. Regards your question, Mayur, does it work on lower time frame? I will not answer. I will show. Choose whatever time frame you want. Five minutes? Give me, Mayur. Give me some time frame. Give me some pair. Five minutes. What pair? Ozzy Frank. I know you're going to... Uh, to check me. <laughs> Let's see. Oops. Do we have a right here? No. We don't. Retest it. Right? Let's go for the last area it happened. Oh, right, 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 right. That's correct. That's correct. Thank you. Thank you, Chris. That's correct. I'm going to sh uh, show it now. That's the last time we had a move. Not 20. Not good. Here we got a 20. Bam! 20 candles. See that? But do you have a divergence here? Do you have a divergence here? No, you don't. What you do have here is RSI below 20. Good enough? Good enough. Remember, divergence is the tool you have. L wait a little bit more. And if you have the divergence, as you got here, attack. It will go for the opposite boundary band. It's working anywhere. Want another chart? See. Uh, what we have here? All the dollar five minutes. Twenty candles right. Divergence. You got the move. Twenty candles right. No, sorry. You don't have twenty. That's you know what? That's a good example with the things that Chris just told me. Uh, reminded me. Friends, the prices, the candles have to be around the boundary. Like here, the, the, if you count, the 20 candles is here. It's not around the boundary. It's around the middle. It's not good. The prices have to be close to the boundary. Okay, close to the boundary because you are low. You, the extremer you are, the more potential you have for the move. That's very simple. If you are already in the middle, why to attack, right? So you want the prices to be on the boundary. Close to the boundary. Thank you very much, Chris. Now, very important thing, friends. When you have this at least 20 candles right, okay, you, you have two ways to attack. First, with candle. If you are on a bullish ride, look for the first candle after the 20 candles right. Okay? First uh, candle, or first 20 candle. Sorry, uh, the first candle, bearish candle, after the 20 candles, right? Or if it's a bearish move, the first bullish candle, after at least 20 candles, right? To attack. Or you can attack on the levels you had as confirmation. The resistances on higher time frame. The trend lines on higher time frame. That's what you have. Okay? You can attack on any and any of the uh, any of the ways I love to attack with a uh, with areas I don't wait for candles most of the times I love to attack the areas that's why I have orders for the euro pound the euro Canadian sorry that's why Believe it or not, David is. <laughs> okay, uh, questions, friends. Chris, Dave, anything I anything I forgot? 
to to say to say here maybe you remember okay okay friends any questions Uh, on this example, where is the divergence? Here? You, on the last examples? Uh, here you have the... Ex oh, I know what I forgot. Peter, thank you very much. Now you reminded me uh, a very, very important thing I wanted uh, to, to say and I forgot. Here you have a new extreme area of the MACD, which is different kind of divergence. Extremist kind of divergence. Here you combine, actually you have a divergence here, that's the one, not MACD but RSI, but most important here what you have, most important here what you have, and thank you very much for that Peter, you just reminded me, when you have a bomb, right, you have a bomb, bam, flight up, right, and you don't have divergences, you have another way to look on the charts, friend. Take a look on the MACD. If the current area is the oops, sorry, is the highest or the lowest area on the MACD, on the whole chart you have in front of you, you see? It's the highest area it was created. See? New spike. New high and RSI is above 80, do not hesitate, attack immediately, it's going to make the move. New spike on MACD is an extreme kind of divergence, not so often, not so common, but very, very reliable. It's the extreme volume divergence, the opposite. Once again, it has to be new spike or new low on the whole MACD chart, as you see. Don't go to the history. On the chart, you see. That's the situation you have. Let's, call, let's say it was live. Uh, here. Let's say it was live. That's the highest priced live that you have, right, on MACD. And RSI is above 80. That's extremist area for this divergence. Thank you, Peter. I forgot it, but uh, you reminded me. Dave Chris, no, no, no. Come on. You know that. <laughs> and you forgot. <laughs> um, yes, that, now, now, that, now that is all. Now that is all. Any questions, friends? And do you need to have both? Both, 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 both. RSI kissing 8020 and MACD new high. Very, 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 very important. Very important. Uh, thank you, Dave. <laughs> Any questions, friends? I'm sorry I took a little longer uh, than one hour as uh, I uh, promised. Just wanted to finish everything. Now, friend, once again, please do not believe me. Take these charts, take these tools, go back and see how it worked. Okay? Here you got the last OZ dollar right. 20 candles were just right here, right? That's the first entry here. See that? Right? This is the first entry here. Now look for this entry, Aussie dollar. That was the break of the band, right? Duplicate it once, duplicate it twice. This is the first duplication area. This is the second duplication. Oops, sorry. This is the second duplication area. 
we look for confirmations on 15 minute chart. Let's see where it was, I just forgot. Uh, here on the down move. Right? You look on 15 minute chart and you look for confirmations. Do you have support? Yes. This is support. Do you have support here? Yes, that support area for 15 minute chart. Could you expect an up move here? As I just showed you on the five minute chart, yes, you can. This is your first attack. It went lower with the divergence, right? You will take the whole move back. That's how it works. That's how it works. Questions, friends? How would you avoid going in at why why to avoid it? Oh no 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 never you, you never know Peter. You know you never know. You start your attack. You start your attack. On ninety percent of the times it will retrace immediately after that. Sometimes it will do this kind of thing. It will go lower. That's why it's investor style. That is why it's investor style. You are going to add on the next area and you are going to enjoy the whole ride and take the money from both. That's how it works. That's what we did today, small part of the Aussie dollar. Not full move as I couldn't manage the trade. Okay? But you take your move. Uh, I'm just sorry, Dave, uh, Dave just said Euro franc makes the move. Oh, yes, it is. Let's see what we have. Uh, 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 let's see what we have here. We have a ooh, we have a resistance area, right? RSI fighting 50. Let's see one hour chart. One hour chart still not divergent, but RSI is close to the aiming the 80. Let's close. Let's close. Euro franc. Uh, if you have the trade, friends, close it. On, let's see if we have divergence here. No, no divergence, but also extreme area. No, 80%, Dave, 80%. But I don't, I could, I can't uh, close 80%. I have only one exposure. Mm, aggressive entry, so I can't uh, close 80. If you can close the 80, close 80, of course, hold 20. I just can't. I don't have it. I have only one exposure here. I have only one exposure here. Okay, let me just... 131, here we have 131. Uh, just a second, friend, I just want to... Just a second. I just want to update, okay? I just want to update the friends to close the... Um, and the euro franc uh, euro franc euro franc euro franc close the trade here Dave thank you for uh, informing me about the move I didn't see it even <laughs> thanks uh, move as Area on, on short. Yeah, I was I was kind of busy. <laughs> Flat. Uh, regards the other pending orders, I will update you. Let me analyze the screen a little bit, okay? I want to analyze the chart a little bit, okay, friends? Let me just make the close price here one twenty two here. Oh, what a what a nice close, right? Bam, retrace ten pip. Okay, uh, thanks, Dave. You 
say you save the the friends. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Dave. You saved the mirror. <laughs> okay, friend. Um, oh, that's that's Andrew. Please, that's for support. Okay, regards the mirror and every single question. That's for supporting. Okay, friend, friend. Uh, just let me. Uh, I I can see several people have to go. Friend, thank you very much for your time. I hope you have learned um, some important things today. Please, once again, do not believe me. Take these tools, test them. If you like them, let me know. And you will. You might also be amazed, so make sure when you watch it, have a chair with you. Okay? Have a chair, <laughs> have a chair with you. You might be amazed. Seriously. Thank you very, very much for your time. I really appreciate it. Friends, have best Christmas. I wish you only the best. Happy holiday for you and all your friends and family. I will, of course, send you an email and everything uh, on this day, but that's, that's the best. What can we <laughs> just uh, ask more? Have the best period and enjoy this holiday. Enjoy this time. And thank you very, very much for your time. Really appreciate it. I will meet you again next week on Monday. We have another webinar. Thank you very much. All the best. Bye-bye.